Hi, my name's Scott. This is another power presentation. Today I'm going to show you my night hauler remote control truck. It's all in its original box here. It's a nice description of all the neat stuff it has on it. I got the multi-function control unit on here. It doesn't have the coupler unit on there, but it has the speakers and all the uh, lights. Um, real loudspeaker. Uh, vibration unit makes the whole truck shake. Uh, the control unit, some pictures. It doesn't come with the trailer or anything like that. It's kind of a neat box. I like reading these boxes, so I, so I keep them. It's not in the best shape, but it's still intact. And get in there. Show you one fully assembled night hauler pickup truck. It's uh. 114 scale and there's about a jillion screws in there uh, I assembled this about 10 years ago still have the instruction manual decals never got put on because I wasn't really satisfied with the paint job so I was thinking about doing it over again and uh, never did get around to doing that so there's decals so you can put some silver ones on there or else the red ones like are in the box. It's kind of a neat looking truck. Metal parts. I like this great over the uh, pipe. Uh, frame rails are metal. Um, there's a lot of metal parts on here. Big iron I-beam front axle. And he did a masterful job wiring this thing up, if I do say so myself. See, you can't really see, you know, a big rat's nest of wires or anything like that. I think I got everything all nice and festooned and tied up in there nice. and some nice cable containment system. Everything was put together nice and sound. I used that uh, gummy blue Loctite that... To me, it gives you with their kits, so you know, all the screws are staying nice and tight. And I get this out of the box and we'll test her out. Also, a tutorial for e bayers who don't seem to know how to test anything. See, these are battery chargers, and those are batteries, and you just plug it into the wall there, charge it up, you know, charge up the battery, install a fresh battery, and then there's usually some sort of on switch or something like that. You just go ahead and get crazy with it and charge up the batteries and that's what I'm gonna do here so I got the battery installed and let's turn the switch on to my control unit turn the sound volume up here now when I turn this on it should fire up it's cool Vibrated. Another choice right here. And uh, I'll turn the I'll turn the sound down now a little bit. Didn't hear the motor running yet. I'll turn the lights on. We'll switch in here and turns the lights on. Oh, there she is. All the lights work. I'm going to go forward and reverse. Well, that's the horn. Here's reverse. Here's the tail light. The backup light comes on. And she's coming back on and off the table. Forward. Turn right. Just turn signals come on. It knows which direction you're trying to turn and the lights come on. <laughs> um, I don't have enough room to show you go through the gear, so I'll just tip her over on the side here. That linkage there goes into the gearbox. So 
can you get in here? Make a little bit of noise here. I'll bring this out back. That was the one that's changing gears. Ah, uh, let's see. Well, maybe I'll let you hear it running. Block the wheels up here. That sounds kind of cool. Make it louder. Here, run. gear first gear works pretty good for maneuvering around and slower speeds you know like when you're trying to back up a trailer or something that third gear is only the gear reduction is only like 10 to 1 so the speed is close to 25 30 miles an hour if you were to run this thing on the street so that's why it's kind of vibrating and walking around the table in the higher gear well, that's a six-minute video. That's long enough to get your attention, I think. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.